live from Novato, it's Night Axis with Luke Widener and Kyle Summers with the Novato Orchestra. Welcome, welcome to Night Access, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we got a great show in line for you. How about another hand for Kyle Summers and the Novato Orchestra? Where's the uh, Novato Orchestra? Oh yeah, I didn't bring instruments. They've kind of gone out of vogue. They're not very, I don't know. No one uses instruments anymore who's a real musician. I like it. But don't do it again, or Dan's going to fire you. Yeah, he, me he mentioned that when I came in. Yeah. <laughs> we got a great show in line for you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, holy smokes. I was in downtown San Francisco this last weekend, and God, you know, people talk about that place being a dump or filthy and stuff. I, I don't know if that's true necessarily. I was there, and they were crop dusting Market Street with Ajax. Yeah, I've seen that. It's something, it's something considerable, and it, it gets in your lungs a little bit. Yeah, I, f I, fe I felt that. Um, I think people are getting kind of used to it. A and I'll tell you something else about what they're getting used to. All these horrible, rampant break-ins. Oh, yeah, the car break-ins? Yeah, it's, uh, they're literally everywhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about this. I guess uh, everyone now, you're just supposed to kind of keep your car unlocked and just nothing valuable inside it. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I even go a little bit further. I'll, I'll roll down the windows and keep it unlocked with mm. nothing in there. Because like, if the windows are down, then you know, people can't break your windows. I gotcha. Yeah. I mean... Uh, it's gotten really bad, though. Yeah, and it's something fierce. I tell you what, some of my friends, once they get onto that side of the bridge, they park get out a canister of gasoline and, and pour it on the car and ignite it. Yeah, I've seen that. And I guess the logic there is to ward off thieves or something? Yeah, you also avoid like the window repairs for your car. Uh, God, what a, what a disaster. Yeah, it's just gotten to that though. Uh, I mean like I'll actually take the extra step of, uh, you know, when I park my car, especially around like the Fillmore or like Tenderloin areas where they're really mm. bad, like I'll just go ahead and just break the car windows ahead of time, and in addition to that, break into the, all the other cars on that side of the block um, and, and break into all those cars just, uh, you know, so that when thieves come and see the cars, they'll be like, oh, you know, these cars were already broken into, so, so they won't break in again. God, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty awful. Yeah, that's what it's come to, though. I love that city, though. Uh, yeah, aside from that, it's, it's got a lot going for it. Yeah, it does. It really does. I, uh... I was in one of those nice, uh, a local kind of a Marin farm, the farm to table restaurants. Are you, are you familiar with some of these? Yeah, very nice, fresh food. Yeah, and uh, man, I took a nice lady there and they sat us down at a table that was uh, actually comprised of composite dirt that was local, huh? you know, from the farm. Just compacted to form a table? Yeah, it was, it was a good table, it just, you know, it was dusty and it took some getting used to, but it's, it was local stuff. Okay. And uh, I was having a, a heck of a time with our waiter. He was a good waiter, and uh, he, was actually, he was an actual pig from the farms. Like, li like literally a farm animal. Yeah, like a farm animal pig. That could take orders. And he took orders. He kind of had like a, a notepad, I guess, strapped to his back. And, and uh, I guess somehow he took the orders to the kitchen. I don't know, but so you he just was, write the orders down? But the service was fast. Okay. Yeah. And how was the food? The food is is really good. It's all local. It's expensive, but it's good. Uh -huh. And the meat there in particular I loved for the fifth course, they took me outside and they had me go slaughter a goat. Huh. And you know, my date got the hell out of there, basically. Yeah, that makes sense, because that's what you're describing is literally insane. Um, but, you know, they give you like a smock and a sharp tool, I guess, and a little bit of instruction. And, you know, I was out there in my nice slacks and stuff, but I, I slaughtered this goat, and oh, it was an experience. Yeah, that sounds terribly unpleasant. <laughs> it was an experience, I'll tell you. Cantaloupes. Vitamins, synergy, capital restructuring, and management motivation. All that and more. 